Another really important topic in security and in particular sort of an extension of our video on prevention measures is securely destroying data. And it's not always well understood by people working in IT. So as soon as you no longer need to use certain important data, that could be personal data, it could be data important to your company, that data should be securely destroyed. I think many people know this and learn it eventually, but not all people do. That deleting a file on your computer, if you right click and press cut or delete on your keyboard, usually, despite it going from your folder, is not fully deleted on your computer. It usually will get sent to what is usually called a recycling bin or trash can or something like that, which is an area where it's sort of temporarily held until you decide to finally empty that trash can or bin and it will then be deleted and you can no longer access it. Even if you, so first of all, you may delete it thinking it's completely gone and actually it's just waiting in this bin so it isn't actually deleted at all, it's just been hidden from you. But even if you have emptied your recycling bin, often the data is still available, it still remains stored on the physical device. So we looked at in LO3, the three main kinds of storage devices, magnetic devices, like hard disks, optical devices like CDs, and solid state devices like an SSD. Even if you've deleted it on your computer and your computer cannot access it anymore, it may still be stored on your device. And so someone else could take that device, plug it into their computer and have access to your data still, which is why this destruction is so important. It goes beyond just deleting it even from recycling bin. I will say that SSDs are not quite as bad as CDs and hard disks in terms of it being still on the physical device because an SSD is just a circuit you can change a circuit fairly easily although there's often a delay between it being deleted and actually going but the fact that you know a CD and a hard disk rely on some physical in this case magnetism and a CD is an actual sort of um, hole in the disk it's difficult to get rid of and so we need to talk about some other methods we can use obviously if you just throw out your device this is just a bunch of hard disks and other random stuff in a bin. If you throw them out, there's a risk that an attacker could come along and take that hard disk and recover personal important data from it. And that would be an issue for your reputation maybe, might, they might hold you to ransom, they may, you know, because of the theft, maybe identity theft and so on. So lots of issues could come from your devices being recovered even if you think you have deleted it or have thrown them out. Now, undeniably the simplest method of destroying data is actually physical destruction of your device. So smashing it up, burning it, putting it in water often doesn't have much impact, but getting a hammer and actually smashing the disc or setting fire to the disc can be a, a good way of stopping anyone ever using it or a normal person using it. But obviously that means you're not ever going to be able to use that device again. Perhaps you want to delete the data, but actually um, you want to be able to use it again. Not everyone can afford to just get rid of hard disks and buy new ones. There is a slight risk that unless you have completely obliterated the disk, the data could still be partially recovered. So if you know there are certain experts who could recover data from just a tiny bit of your disk, you can see here there's some still quite big fragments of the CD. Here there'll be some data stored and if you had a specialist device you might be able to read that. Likewise here, the disk looks actually fine despite there being fire and the disc for the outside being damaged, someone can maybe fix this. And so physical destruction is not always perfect, especially if your data is really, really important. The CDs, this doesn't apply, but for magnetic hard disks, you can use magnetic wiping to destroy the data as an alternative to physical destruction. So this is a bit of a smarter way of doing it, besides just smashing it with a hammer. You might use a device like this called a degausser. This actual device is called a data eliminator, which sounds quite cool. You can see there's a hard drive in this sort of drawer. You'll close the drawer and turn the device on. And what it will do, it's got effectively a really, really powerful magnet inside. It will use electric current to do this effectively, but it works as a magnet. And this will be applied to the device. And we talked about how, sort of, we talked about, you don't know too much about it, but on a magnetic hard disk, there are different patterns of magnetism like north, south, east, and west which store the data. And the patterns are really important, they're how they can be read and your data can be used. And what this will do is just apply a random magnetism. And so the patterns on your disk will become scattered and random and unreadable. So the magnet really damages permanently the disk and it becomes nonsense. This is obviously good in terms of destroying your data because 
you can't recover it. But even if your disc comes out looking normal, it will be broken beyond repair. So both to physical destruction and magnetic wiping, destroy the device completely as well as the data. So that the second bit is good because that's our goal, but you can never use the device after you've done either of these techniques. So the third one which will allow you to keep working with that device is overwriting. And this involves, as the name might suggest to you, just replacing the data, which is to be destroyed, with random data instead. So writing over it, you've got some data, like handwriting, you could just write over it to make it unreadable. You scribble it out, that's effectively writing over it. Similar here, we're just replacing our data. So say we've got a section of our hard disk or our CD. We've got ones and zeros, which is how data is represented. This section here of three bits, we want to destroy for some reason. And so we'll apply this overwriting process using specialist software and it will just replace that triplet with random data and so no one could derive any meaning from this data. It is similar to magnetic wiping in that your, your hard disk becomes kind of randomized but here it's a much more specific action. We can target just a section of our disk as opposed to destroying the entire thing. Here we can always overwrite this again with real data and so we can still use our disk afterwards the other two methods completely destroy it uh, but overwriting you've got to be a bit careful with because if you don't overwrite it enough there may still be some remnants of your underlying data so often overwriting is done 10 times 20 times just to be sure